Welcome to Premath. In this video tutorial, we have got this quadrilateral, as you can see in this figure, whose side lengths are 19, 9, 11, and 17. And moreover, the angle between these two sides is 60 degrees. And now we are going to find the angle between these two sides. That means we are going to calculate this x value. So let's go ahead and get started with our solution. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and connect points B and C. So let's go ahead and do that one. We are going to connect point B and C. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. So let's go ahead and calculate the side length BC. This we are going to calculate this side length BC. So for that purpose, we are going to use the law of cosines. And here's our law of cosines. A square equal to B square plus C square minus 2 times BC times cosine of alpha. And here I'm going to call this angle alpha, this 60 degrees. Then the opposite side of this one is going to be A, side A. I'm going to call this side B and this side C. And this way we are going to calculate the value of A. Now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So A square equal to B in our case is 19 square plus C. B is 19 and C is 17. 17 square minus 2 times 19 times 17 times cosine of 60 degrees because our alpha is 60 degrees. So let's go ahead and simplify that one. So a square equal to 361 plus 289 and then minus before we do anything cosine of 60 degrees is 0 0.5 and if we multiply out everything we are going to get negative 323 so our a square turns out to be simply 327 if i take the square root on both sides to undo the square so a is going to be approximately equal to 18.1 so thus our bc length turns out to be 18.1 and here's our next step now let's focus on this new triangle a prime b c as you can see over here we are going to calculate this angle x this value so we are going to use the law of cosine once again. And here's our law of cosine. And in our case, I am going to call this side as an A, this side B, this side C, and this X angle is X, as a matter of fact, this alpha. So in this case, this alpha is going to become simply X. So let's go ahead and uh, fill in the blanks. So a square is going to become 18.1 square equal to b in our case is 9 square and c in our case is 11 square minus 2 times 9 times 11 times cosine of x. So let's simplify it. That is going to give us 327 equal to 81 plus 121 minus 198 times cosine of x. Let's go ahead and add these ones. So we're going to get 327 equal to this is going to become 202 minus 198 cosine of x. Let's move this one on the other side. 327 minus 202 equal to negative 198 cosine of x. So once simplified, we got 125 equals to negative 198 cosine of x. And now we are going to divide by negative 198 on both sides to isolate cosine of x. 
So cosine of x turns out to be approximately equal to negative 0 0.6313 and now we are going to find x so that means the cosine inverse of negative 0 0.6313 so that means x approximately equal to 129 degrees so thus 129 degrees is our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye